Okay, so I want to tell you about decibels, and decibels come in handy when you're talking about transfer functions or voltage ratios or power ratios. So let's suppose you have a system, it could be an amplifier, a filter, or an attenuator, and uh, it has an input voltage and an output voltage. In this case, we're expressing these as complex amplitudes, so you have to take the real part uh, to get the final number, and you have a complex number that acts as the intermediary that's a uh, function of frequency. So you can write that the output is equal to the transfer function times the input, or that the transfer function is equal to the ratio of the voltages. In general, if the magnitude of the transfer function is larger than one, you talk about having gain or amplification. If it's less than one, you talk about ha having loss or attenuation. So this might be the situation with an amplifier, whereas this might be the situation for a filter. And an this magnitude of H is going to have a ratio, an units of a ratio of volts. So its units are going to be in volts per volt. But the problem with that is that somebody might come along and cancel the volts on the top of the bottom and you're left with no units, so you're kind of left with no ratio that it was something interesting to begin with. Another problem with the transfer function in its current form is that it's not uncommon to have really, really large numbers. Uh, either for the gain or especially for the attenuation. And keeping track of all those zeros is kind of frustrating. So a third problem is that when you have ratios, when you have two transfer functions together, uh, say a system, you go into one system, out of it, and then into another system, the voltages uh, are multiplied by the transfer function in each case, so the total magnitude is the product of the two input uh, transfer functions two component transfer functions. If you take a log of that, you can solve that problem because then it just becomes a sum, and sums are easier to take than logs. So that's pretty nice. The other advantage of taking the logarithm is that the numbers are much smaller to deal with. So the log of a million is just six. The log of one ten thousandth is just minus four. And so if we take the log of a system that consists of these two in series, uh, then we're going to just get six uh, minus four, which is two. That actually has a unit, it's called bells, but that unit is not used because it's such a large value. A bell is a huge, like two bells is a factor of 100. So people use decibels instead. They multiply that number by 20, so one decibel is a, is a much smaller ratio uh, than a bell. And so uh, the decibel is abbreviated dB, and it's written like this, uh, and it's defined as 20 times the log of the voltage ratio. Now, you can actually talk about power ratios if you want to instead, uh, because power is the voltage squared. And when you take the logarithm of a square, you just get two times the logarithm of the value. Um, the coefficient for the power ratio is just 10. And that means that the system has the same gain in decibels whether you're looking at it in terms of power or in terms of voltage. It's just when you look at it in terms of voltage, you have to remember to multiply by 20. If you look at it in terms of power, you have to remember to multiply it by 10. So let's go into a little bit more detail here. So here is a bunch of important uh, decibel values. So this one, for instance, is three decibels. It represents a power ratio of two or a voltage ratio of square root of two. Six decibels is a good one to know. It's a power ratio of four or a voltage ratio of two. Uh, 10 decibels is another one because it's a power ratio of 10, and 20 decibels is important because it corresponds to a voltage ratio of 10. And you can calculate each of these quite simply by just saying, look, 10 times the log of the power ratio is 3. Divide both sides by 10, and you'll get the log of the power ratio is 0.3. So the power ratio is 10 to the 0.3, which is approximately 2. Similarly, 10 times the log of the power ratio is 10 dB. Divide by 10 both sides, you just get the log of the power ratio is 1. That means the power ratio is 10. OK, so let's take an example. Suppose you had 46 dB. That's going to be like 2 times 20 dB plus 6 dB, um, because the power ratios, the in decibel, the um, decibel values sum. Uh, each of these 20 dBs corresponds to one order of magnitude increase there. And so uh, you get tw that twice, so it's a 10 times a 10. And then you add in another 6 dB, which corresponds to a voltage ratio of 2. And so it's 10 times 10 times 2, or a factor of 200. All right, so once you've done a few of those, you get used to it. On the attenuation side, you use the fact that the log of the reciprocal is equal to minus the log. And so you can make a similar table up for 
negative decibel values. In each case, it's just like our table before, but it's one over. So minus 3 dB is a power ratio of a half or a voltage ratio of about 0.7. Minus 6 is a voltage ratio of about a half. Minus 10 is a power ratio of 10. And minus 20 is a voltage ratio of about 10. There's also other types of decibels that come out sometimes. So sometimes people will reference the decibel value to an absolute uh, input like say a power of one milliwatt in which case you get dBm. Uh, there's many other kinds of dBs like dBvs and, and other things. Let's not worry about those. The more fundamental decibel refers to the voltage ratio as I described it to you right now or the power ratio uh, and once you've mastered that you can worry about uh, some of these other more subtle points. All right.